How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be checking out Nita Strauss's brand new song that features Alyssa from Arch Enemy. This song is called The Wolf You Feed. If you like this video guys, please make sure to subscribe, make sure to like and comment down below what you think of this song. Apologies for that intro guitar part in this video, um, just having a rough guitar day. <laughs> We all get them. Let's get stuck into it. I'm really, really looking forward to checking out how this sounds. Um, obviously, I'm very uh, familiar with Nita Strauss. I've heard her previous work. And obviously, I'm a huge fan of Arch Enemy. Um, so I'm familiar with Alyssa too. Right, so let's get into it. I'm not sure what to expect. I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of metal. Without further ado, let's check it out. Just going to stop it there. By the way, guys, I do stop the video um, at different points so that I don't forget what I'm going to say at the very end. Yeah, typical metal here. Uh, we've got the guitar harmonies, the power chords. We've got the really heavy first section uh, with Alyssa doing the screaming and growling and then the clean vocals in the chorus. Yeah, very kind of melodic death metal, I suppose, in approach. Yeah, sounds really cool. I like the fact that the guitar's not always playing, actually. There was a moment, I think, in the verse just then where it was just drums, bass and vocals and the bass tone's great in this. Um, so yeah, let's not forget about the bass. Bass often gets overlooked, but yeah, it's a make or break when it comes to metal production. Uh, the production sounds amazing, mixing's amazing. Gotta say, I think this is my favorite Nita Strauss song already. Really killer guitar tones, killer parts, everything you want in a metal song really.
Cool. Um, okay, let me break it down bit by bit. So the best thing about the guitars in this track, if you were to ask me personally, and it's just my opinion, not a fact, is the riffs. I think the riffs in this sound great. Or the best part about this is the guitar tone. I think the guitar tone's awesome. One really, really major thing overall about the whole track that I like is the guitar isn't trying to overtake the vocals or overtake the music, which is what you find with a lot of solo guitar artists. It feels like a band piece of music as opposed to, oh, it's Nita Strauss, <laughs> which is great. So yeah, um, Musically, I think it's really good. The drums sound really, really good as well. Sound really polished. I really love the bass tone in this track. Um, the bass guitar is obviously doing predominantly root notes just to try and make the uh, power chords from the guitar sound bigger. Vocally, it sounds great for Melissa. Um, what can you expect with her being an arch enemy? Um, phenomenal musicians. In the guitar solo, Nita's doing a lot of sweet picking. Um, she's doing a lot of legato. I know that she's a fan of legato from seeing her previous videos. So it's no surprise there how much legato she's using. I think she was actually using the same sweet pick and shape I was using in the intro um, of this video, funny enough. Was she doing a D minor sweep? She might have been. Cool. Uh, so yeah, it's great. I actually really liked the double kick part at the very end of this song on the drums as well. Just kept it interesting. And I think there's a key change after the solo. I would say the song is a mix between power metal and melodic death metal, I think. Um, but yeah, the riffs in this are just really, really good. They're kind of like the highlight on the guitars for me. I think this has got to be my favourite Nita Strauss track, just because it's nice to hear a solo guitar instrumental artist um, making music that sounds very, very band-orientated. Right, guys, make sure to like and comment down below. See you next time. Thank you for watching.